Tonight we're learning more about the perfect storm of conditions that made the 2018 red tide bloom so devastating and what part of the Gulf it first formed in. ABC Action News reporter Jake Peterson shows us what USF researchers found. Region inside this white ellipse is the origination zone. Dr. Robert Weisberg and his team at USF have been watching this zone about 50 miles west of Tampa Bay for years. They say blooms get worse depending on how the ocean's currents move nutrients into this particular zone. We're able to determine a relationship between the circulation and the severity of, of a red tide. The cocktail of conditions got even worse last year when Tropical Storm Gordon blew the bloom up north, killing fish and other sea life. The nutrients from the decaying fish then feed the red tide. The impact felt on the beaches. Tourists complaining of respiratory problems. The red tide outbreak impacting all facets of tourism in Manatee County in 2018. On Bradenton Beach, bed tax was down about 24%. That was down 60%. Swordfish Grill Manager Bob Slicker says they've bounced back, but they haven't forgotten. He set up an employee assistance fund for future natural disasters. That we have a little something to help pay, the, pay some of their bills for a couple months. He's grateful for the recent research, but he's hoping scientists can eventually minimize future outbreaks. Red tide that originated here. USF scientists are now deploying equipment offshore to determine if the 2019 bloom will be as bad as last year's. The results should be available soon. Reporting on Anna Maria Island, Jake Peterson, ABC Action News. The new research also finding water runoff from places like Lake Okeechobee may make that red tide bloom worse once it has already formed. But scientists believe the bloom begins naturally. 